Okay, so this video is about function composition. So um, we thought about a function as a machine, right? I, I take an input, some, the machine does something to it, and, and I get an output. And the way that you should think of function composition is you should think of it as um, multiple machines running in succession with each other. So I can give you an input x, um, I can feed it into the first machine, g, so there's this function g, um, and then g is going to output some number, g of x, and then I could take this output and I could put it into um, a new, another machine, right? So I can put it into the, the function machine f, and something is going to come out, you know, f evaluated at whatever you put into it. So f of g of x is going to come out. So there's kind of two ways to think of this. You can think of this as one big machine where I input x and I output f of g of x. Um, and what this machine is doing, if I look into the insides of the machine, is it's two separate processes. I uh, input x, g of x comes out. I input x, g of x comes out. And then I take that output and I plug it into the second machine, f, and f of g of x comes out. So just um, be aware that if I write this as f of g of x, g is applied first. You can think about it like g is closer to x. So it's, it's getting applied first, and then f is applied, is applied to what the output of g of x is. OK, so this is function composition. Um, let me give you some intuition why this might be useful, just one reason why this might be useful. Um, so I'm going to consider a function f of x, which is um, x squared plus 6x plus 9. So it's a quadratic function. Um, and I'm going to write this as a function composition. So if um, you remember from how to factor, this is actually a perfect square. So you can write this as x plus 3 squared. These are the same function. Um, you can expand and just see they're the same function. So I have uh, this quadratic function that's just defined in these two different ways. And the way that I've written it on um, the right here, you can see that it's a function composition. So if I define, if I define uh, g of x, which is x plus 3, and h of x, which is x squared, then uh, h of g of x is h of x plus 3, which is x plus 3 squared. So h of g of x is actually the same thing as f of x. Right? These are the same functions. OK, and so why might I want to take this function, x squared plus 6x plus 9, and write it as a function composition? Well, there's, um, this can make your life simpler. So this is just one reason why you might want to do this. Um, let's think about like if I'm a computer and I'm trying to evaluate this function f of x. Um, let's evaluate it on the left and on the right. So let's say I want to evaluate like f of 5. And I'm a computer. How many operations do I have to do? Well, on the left-hand side, right, I have to uh, take 5 and square it, so that's one operation. I have to take 6 and multiply it by 5, so that's another operation. And then I have to add these two things, so that's a third operation. And then I have to add that output to, to 9, right? So that's four operations. Whereas if I compute it using this definition on the right, using the, the kind of the function composition definition, then how many operations do I have to do? Well, f of 5 is, well, I have to compute 5 plus 3, so that's one operation. And then I have to square that, so I have to take 8 times 8. Right, so it's only two operations. Right, so somehow just writing it as a function composition made my life simpler. Um, for maybe a more practical for you example, why this might make your life easier is let me let, let's say I ask you to graph f of x. Right, so if I ask you to graph this thing x squared plus six x plus nine, I might have to you know find where the the bottom is. I might have to find where the roots are. I might have to to do all this all this stuff, um, but we've actually seen function composition before. So we um, learned in the last video how to do shifts of functions. And if you notice, this function composition is actually just a shifting of a function, right? So I can take the graph, um, h of x is x squared. So I know how to graph h of x is x squared. It's pretty easy. And then I know that since I'm taking um, h, and I'm shifting it to the left by 3, well, I know that f of x then must just look like this. So this is f of x. y equals f of x. So um, 
writing this as a function composition somehow made this much easier to graph than if I have to, you know, calculate all this stuff about the, the vertex and things like that. Um, so these are just um, two of the reasons why function composition is useful, um, and we'll see function composition a lot in this class.